The people of Mushi, Onipan, Ogumoku, and its environs welcomed their governor, Babajide Songwolu, with resounding cheers and approval. <laughs> Mr. Governor is here to commission the fifth overpass on the Red Line Corridor after those of Agege, Ikeja. Yaba and Oyibo has been constructed by his administration as part of efforts aimed at reducing travel time, solving traffic bottlenecks, and generally making Lagos livable for all. Sawolu says this development will definitely enhance the social and economic value of the area. Putting this overpass that will connect <coughs> the two communities seamlessly, both in vehicular and pedestrian connection. You can imagine the economic value and the economic benefit this, this bridge has done to these two communities. Journeys that hitherto will take, because I mean the rail is, I'll talk about the rail, will have taken them <coughs> 45 minutes, one hour, just to go and turn all the way at Moshalashi or Jibo. <coughs> all that are things of the past now. Because you can do it in a safe and a secure environment. He affirmed that compensation has been paid to those whose property had to give way for the infrastructure, giving kudos to Lamata for doing a great job. Governor Sowolu enjoined the residents to own the infrastructure and protect it from deliberate destruction. For us, it's about keeping faith with our citizens. It's about ensuring that we can make this place a lot, lot better for them and make it a lot better than we met it. To do this, of course, there were a few disruptions. Houses have to be shaved off. And you've seen that new modern buildings are even coming up because all of them were adequately compensated. Members of the Lagos State Executive Council, including the Deputy Governor Obafemi Hamzat, joined Governor Babajide Sonwolu at the commissioning of the final overpass built for construction on the part of the Lagos State Government, awaiting the fulfillment of the federal government's part of the bargain. Adetola Coyote, OTV News.